Hello there, and welcome to another ASMT video. In this case, this would be a dual demo video. The first story to be demoed is ASMT 12, creating the data seeder. This underlying functionality creates courses, lectures, users, and viewership data, and a simple function that is callable from an API endpoint. This API endpoint res resides within the ASMT backend. The goals of this is to have a simple seed endpoint as well as a seed clear endpoint to create as well as delete the generated data. ASMT 13 covers further configuration at this endpoint. One facet is to allow for the configuration of the counts, in the cases being the amount of users, lectures, view data, as well as instructors. And on the second half, utilizing the API services that the normal ASMT backend exposes. In the design of ASMT 12, shortcuts were made to go ahead and interact directly with the database to insert the users, instructors, lectures, view data, and courses. In this case, in ASMT 13, refactoring has been done for the users, instructors, lectures, and view data so that the data passes through the, prop the proper services and business logic is performed correctly. So let's go to the main application. Go ahead and view the courses. We see nothing's here at the moment. Let's visit the backend. As you see, I've recently cleared the database. And go ahead and go with the defaults. 10 courses, 15 lectures each, 30 users each, two instructors, as well as 25 view instances. This view instance ranges from 1 to 25. This is the upper level on a random number. Clicking execute will execute the command. This will execute a web request to the SMT backend, which will then create the data. As you've seen here, we received the 201, and the seed was successful. Let's go ahead and refresh the courses page. As we see now, our courses are available, all 10. Clicking on these courses, we'll see the amount of lectures we specified, 15. Going down to the deeper lecture details page, we can see all of the users as well as the view data that's been generated. The number of students as well as the view data isn't exposed directly in the front end here. But I can show you 30 users are here, and the amount of view data ranges from 0 to 25. Let's go ahead and clear out this data. Start fresh. Well, there's no courses to populate the course page. Thanks for checking out this video, and have a great day.